Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. So, I found out recently that a new horror film was coming out called Victor Crowley. And I was like, what is this? And um, I looked into it. They were doing a screening over near me on uh, Long Island, but I, I wasn't able to attend. I was like, what is this? This seems familiar. So, it's the Hatchet series. Um, there's a guy named Adam Green who has written and directed, I think, all of the Hatchet movies. There's been three, and now the Victor Crowley is the fourth, uh, and it's pretty much about a, um, it's K played by Kane Hodder, who plays Jason in all, in, I think, most of the Jason films, or some of the Jason films. He's like the most well-known, who's kind of ran with the title. So, he plays uh, the main character, Victor Crowley, and what it is, is um, there's a dad, who's also played by Kane Hodder, and he has a deformed child. They're living on the bayou in Louisiana, and the kids always pick on the on the child and stuff. And at one point, something goes wrong, and the kids are, like, coming to the house and picking on this kid, and the house gets set on fire. So the dad's trying to break the door down to get the kid and, and you know, save him. And when he break, goes to break the door and he hits the kid in the head with the hatchet he's using, hence the name of the movie Hatchet. So I've watched 1, 2, and 3 now, and... Um, Unlike other films, the first one is my least favorite, which is strange. The first one has a lot of comedy. Uh, about half of it is just kind of them getting to the house. The characters were sort of annoying and cliche. Um, I thought that, you know, Victor Crowley, Hatchet or whatever, uh, was interesting looking. And he's like, his like spirit or his whatever is now going around and killing people in the bayou that go near his home from, you know, the, the he's like a vengeful spirit type of thing. I think he's a spirit. They didn't really say he was like a zombie or anything. And he was a child when he was killed. Now he's big. So you would assume he's some kind of evil spirit. Um, so the first one didn't really do it for me. The second and third one has um, Danielle Harris from the Halloween movies in it. And actually the first one has Tony Todd from Candyman in a small role. And... Robert England from Freddy in a small role from Nightmare on Elm Street. So it was interesting they included them, but I found it to be just not as good. Uh, two and three seems to go more towards the horror, the horror genre of things, um, creepier, more violence. I thought the first one had some nice gore to it, but overall I felt like the characters were annoying. Uh, I, I did reach out to Drum Dums, who is a uh, YouTuber I've spoken about before that I'm a big fan of, who reviews horror films, and uh, we talked briefly about it on Facebook. Do you, have you guys seen the Hatchet films? Have you seen Victor Crowley? Um, I think it's coming out on Blu-ray in the middle of February. On Amazon, it's currently listed for $11.99, which is a pretty good price for a brand new Blu-ray and DVD combo. Um, it is like a sort of, you know, under the radar, sort of independent type release, but supposedly it's the best in the series. So, have you seen that? Have you seen the others? Most people aren't fans of the Hatchet series, uh, which I found to be odd, definitely in regards to 2 and 3. Or maybe, like me, they saw 1, didn't like it, and they just never continued. I actually saw them out of order. I think I saw 3, 2, 1, um, and as I said, I've never seen Victor Crowley. So weigh in, guys. Let me know if you've seen them, what you think, and why you do or don't like them. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe.